I was just thinking about when I came first time to my open meeting, it was, I stumbled into this room and it was about seven years ago and, and um, I came here, there were just a few people sitting here and Candace and she was sharing and I, I really resonated with what she was sharing. It sounded very familiar and I thought I, I heard that somewhere before some things I didn't understand and, and, and everything and, and so I thought oh, that, that was quite nice talk and she said I'll just come back again and so I did that and it was all very very nice and, and, and at that point I didn't have any idea of the impact that this training will have on me. I didn't even know that this could be possible for a human being. This, this level of empowerment and stability that, that I've gained over these years, just being completely involved in the Four Mainstays and with that training, that was n nothing that I could have um, even comprehend at that point of time. I didn't know that what that was possible for, for me and I thought maybe for a few people that might be possible, like I don't know who, but not for me. And, and, and I've seen over the years, just seeing my own stability mentally and emotionally, my own empowerment through this training to be completely at ease in, in all circumstances and with all the data streams that are going on for me. So all my thoughts, emotion, experiences, everything that I can perceive to have that stability within those, those um, data streams and they can really swirl around and be anything at all and, and, and there's just this underlying ease and um, stability right there. And, and, and to see that more and more grow and to see that in my own direct experience, not only in my own direct experience, but also in so many people also really relying on open intelligence, just coming about for everyone. It's just something that we can really see that is, is something that we can completely rely on. We can completely rely on this opening intelligence that is the ground of all that we can perceive. All of our data are inseparable from open intelligence. Just like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate them out. We don't even want to try that. I mean, that would be so effortful. It's not possible. So also our data streams, we cannot separate from open intelligence. Each data stream shines equally. Open intelligence shines equally through them. Not some data streams have less open intelligence and some have more. No, equally shining through all all our thoughts, even and emotions and sensations, even the things that we think are, are, are horrible and, and something that we really want to get rid of. Yeah, so if we, if we take anger for example, we are in a situation where somebody really made us angry, triggered our, our, all our points. And then we say, okay, we have actually a choice how we want to deal with that anger. We can respond to it and react on it from that limited view of that anger where we really see, okay, that made me angry, I will need to tell that person or I will need to punch him in the face or I will need to do whatever is our re uh, reaction there. Or we have that choice to really rest deeply right there. Stop the train of thought for a split second. All the, you know, all the anger, why am I angry, this person did that, this, that. Not going into that, really stopping that train of thought and really resting deeply right there, seeing that the anger arises as this open intelligence, identifying open intelligence within the anger. Anger is just natural dynamic energy of, of open intelligence, nothing else. We've labeled it, it into something and then we reacted on it, but we have a choice right there to open that anger up completely <coughs> and see how we can be of benefit in that situation, using that anger completely to see skillfully how to react and how to be in that situation. And that makes, then we see how beneficial all our data streams are, every data stream, we can apply that to, to every data stream that we have. We can completely stop the train of thought for a split second. And in the beginning it might be a bit effortful because we are so used to when we have like a data stream coming up, going off in the stories around it. And then to stop right there it might be a bit an effort. For me it was a bit of an effort not going into all my data streams there. Just stopping for a split second. And then all data streams come back and then stopping again. Stopping again. And then we see this 
this ease and identifying this open intelligence that naturally becomes just growing more and more within our experience, then we see that side by side with all our data streams, there's this, this um, yeah, this, this sense of, 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 of ease always present. It never goes anywhere. We have just not noticed it because we were collapsing into our data stream. Then we don't see anything. When we collapse into it, you know, then we just see the data stream but nothing else. So we remain our view wide open in the face of all our emotions, sensations and experiences. And that is so powerful way to view um, the world basically, to, to view everything that is going on for us, to really deeply understand the nature of all our data streams, because the nature of all our data streams is that they just come, hang out for a while and then they just go. And there's nothing that we need to do for them to come, I mean they just spontaneously come, unpredictable they come, I mean we've all noticed that and seen that in our experience. In, in I mean, in most cases, the data streams come in the not appropriate time, and then we think, oh, why is that now coming again? And, and it's just, we cannot control it. But what we can do is really we can take responsibility in how we want to deal with these data streams, how we want to view them as something that can completely affect us the way we want to react, or can we really choose in that moment to see clearly how we want to um, be in that situation, how we can empower a situation, how we can benefit a situation and act accordingly to that. Not being ruled by our data streams. They don't have any power over us. We might thought they had, but they don't. So now we view it like that. And, and that makes life so completely easy. Not only completely easy, but completely beneficial. We are all so powerful human beings and we all know instinctively what will be of most benefit. It's natural to us, to everyone. And, and, and to really rely on that more and more opens up completely, opens our compassion up completely. I mean, I was always, I wanted to always be very compassionate and I, I thought I needed to, I had all concepts about what compassion mean, meant and how a person who is compassionate shouldn't have angry thoughts shouldn't say anything that isn't a, a problem. I mean, I had all kinds of ideas and so I contrived that idea of, of cultivating compassion. And then after a while these angry thoughts came in or these hateful thoughts or thinking, what is that person, is stupid. And then I thought, I'm not, I'm not a compassionate person and I really beat myself up and, and, and really like, oh, I need to do more work on myself and everything. And all these kinds of things to get more compassionate. And what I saw is when I relaxed deeply with all these data streams, it's so natural to have all kinds of data streams about persons or anger or hate and everything. It's the, the natural experience of every human being. And to allow that to be as it is without needing to uh, make them into something, we open up to complete and true compassion in every moment with everyone we meet, no matter what we think or feel in that situation. We can have all kinds of negative thoughts about someone and have uh, completely connected and have complete love for that person at the same time. And that is complete true compassion, not buying into all that mind things that are going on. That's not an information that can inform our, our natural way of being. The natural way of being to be completely um, yeah, completely unified and completely um, compassionate with, with everyone we meet. It's such an amazing way to live and that's always how I wanted to live. That's always what I wanted so badly and I couldn't, couldn't achieve it through conventional way of cultivating that. Because I, again and again these data streams would come in that didn't fit my concept of that. And now it's just blown wide open. For it, it is just that is one of the most precious things I have um, received from this training. This just openness to, to everyone and everything, just very naturally, uncontrived. And that's simply by, by relying on open intelligence again and again, taking sh one short moment at a time, resting body and mind completely when data streams come up, allowing them to be as they are, not needing to make them in, into anything. <coughs> so if we have concepts about anything in the world. Allow them to be there. We don't need to get rid of everything we thought or all the concepts we have. We just need, don't need to buy into them as something that has 
a truth value in and of for themselves. Identify the open intelligence in all concepts, in all thoughts, in everything we believe to be true. Then we open up and see it for what it is. And then we can completely use all our, our, our data streams in the most beneficial way because we see clearly. We see from like from the mountaintop. We see everything clearly. And then we can move freely. We can move freely for the benefit of all there. Not limiting by any concept of anything we have learned or anything we think to be true. Examine all your data streams from the view of open intelligence and see from there. It's so powerful. It's so powerful not to buy into any data streams there. And, 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 and it, it just opens up that complete, yeah, complete gratitude and complete um, care and, and compassion for everyone. And then I had many, many circumstances where I couldn't feel gratitude for, for a person, maybe because of what he had done to me or, 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 or I mean, many things. And one thing I could always find is th this circumstance makes me take short moments and recognize open intelligence. And that was such a great, great, um, yeah, such a, such a precious gift because it really made me allow to, to, to recognize open intelligence and make that choice in that moment. So every circumstance that I was in that I couldn't find any gratitude or couldn't feel at ease, it was always um, remembering to take short moments. And that's basically the most precious thing that I ever can um, do in a situation. So it, it's recognizing the fundamental nature of, of everything. So every circumstance is such a great teaching and such a great way of, of, of getting to know ourselves as open intelligence. We can really view everything from that perspective. And then naturally it just uh, flows on by that we really tap into what we are meant to be living as human beings. We all, all are meant to be living in that way completely and it's really guaranteed that this can come about for everyone, for everyone for everyone who wants to make that choice in, in their life and make that change, that one simple change to, change, to see how we want to use our mind.